So once I get the stompy post list down to exactly how I want it, then I'll probably try it out in a challenge, just to switch it up from the regular list. I'd like to give it a shot at like the highest levels of competition. I'm actually keeping it at 61 cards, but if I were to like play in a tournament, I'd probably just run a main deck Ballista instead of this Apex Devastator here. Just have three total in the 75. It's just a better <laughs> overall creature. As fun as like cascading four times is. Alright, round two here. We're on the play. The Mulligan this. No mana acceleration. Basically no cloud post or ancient tomb in that first hand. This does have this is definitely a keep. And to put back. I think just this glimmer post. And I'll start uh, on Once Upon a Time, start Tomb, Spyglass, then turn 2, Rejuvenator. And hopefully, between what I find with this Once Upon a Time and the Rejuvenator land, I should have my 4 mana for Thought Knot. Like a Cloud Boast here. Uh -huh. Let's take another Rejuvenator. Is it that or Vesuva? I'll just take a Rejuvenator. Uh, maybe I should have taken... It's a little risky to take another creature there. Brainstorm, Ancestral Vision... Definitely naming Wasteland, which usually is the point. A Spyglass. So Shardless. Man, Legacy's been so fun ever since the last couple days when they banned... All those evil, evil cards. I feel like I'm seeing a bunch of stuff from the past. Lots of miracles. The shardless here. Come on, cloud post. I might as well get uh, double up on these tombs. Maybe I wanted more forests. I don't know. Probably going to attempt to cast Golos next turn. That's not bad. Yeah, let's just slam go loose. Alright. I guess just cloud post here. As late as this ramping is starting. For start it now. I still would like to chalice of the wood for one, just to take him off these can trips. Just being a regular blue deck. I guess I could name it a zero for if they do play Shardless Agent. It's kind of annoying. Interesting. I actually play that out this turn just so I can not take so much damage off these tombs. And hopefully I'll be able to play both Rejuvenator and Thought Knot. Or Rejuvenator and Chalice at least. Yeah, that sounds worth it. Here's this. It's just a cavern. That's unfortunate. I don't have quite enough mana. If yeah, I'll get Cavern in case I draw into, like, prime time. I'll just say Giant for that. Let's play our Chalice out here. Uh, oh yeah, I had couldn't attack because of Chasm. Maybe I should have swung 
beforehand with my rejuvenator. Probably just gonna get rid of chasms next turn and swing with the two rejuvenators. Hopefully get that Baleful Strix to block one of them. Need some more mana though. Not really going anywhere. He's just worth uh, chousing for zero just to stop that. Probably is. Lily of the Veil. I haven't seen that in a long time. Prime time. Damn. That's not the worst. Is it time to just all swing at Lily? I think so. Lose this Golos, but this to two. I think mean, it's worth holding the Golos back. Yeah, I think so. Interesting. I love a Cascading Cataract about now. Start to churn through the deck with Golos. Brainstorm. It's not bad. I was going to say, I hope we hit, like, Eye of Hoogan. I'd rather get a Glimmer Post here. Just have the ability to start getting life with Vesuvas. Probably. It's probably more important than ramping at this point. I guess I'll just sit back and maybe next turn I'll start swinging at Lily with everybody. I feel like they could Plague Engineer pretty soon here. Let's kill the Elves and then Edict the Golos. So our, our Sorcerer Spyglass is at least protecting us for the time being. I feel like they probably are close to an Abrupt Decay. 
He'll probably get wastelanded soon. Hello, Charlotte's Bug. Way back when I used to play against them. I feel like they used to have like two or three wastelands at most. Like, I don't really feel in all that bad of a spot right now. I'm gonna kill the cavern too. Interesting. Let's see what they got. Force of will. Alright, I think it's time to probably just start swinging at Lily. Really go for an apex devastator about now. I'm prepped decay killing a rejuvenator. Yes, finally. I think both these swing at Lily. Either, either Lily dies or the Shardless Agent dies. No cards in hand. I think I want to just go get this Golos. Maybe get Caracas. Oh, maybe that's greedy. Maybe I should just get Ivugan here. Yeah, let's get Ivugan. If I get Caracas, they could just counter it when I go to bounce it. It's also considering. Cascading Cataracts, but that's dependent on Golos sticking around in play. Another Lily? It's annoying. Probably gonna sack Golos then. I don't want them to draw a card. Thirteen mana right now. Could go get another Golos. Probably just wait till Emrakul next turn though. Nope. Guess Wasteland would probably be the worst thing they could draw here. So they could wasteland my eye and then tick Lily up. For the Emrakul that I'm going to go search up. Stupid Ancestral Vision. Shit. Okay. Pretty big goyf. Ok, 
Okay, Emrakul. So what am I bringing in? Probably just ballistas. Maybe tabernacle, but probably not. Let me cut a prime time and a golos. No. Let's try that. Uh, maybe just thought not zero is like almost always the right cut. So yeah, let's try that. So I feel like I want my mana ramping creatures more. Even if I'm trying to fight through permission. So I'll just rather fight with Golos. Yeah, let's try. Turn one two and spyglass. It's definitely good. Since they're looking to like him and Liliana discard my hand size down, I'm going to try and not mulligan against these decks. Ancestral, okay. Nice. Take I. See if I should you know, definitely wasteland. And force the will too. I could play tomb next turn and then cavern turn three to get Golos down. But I think I'm gonna draw next turn. Might just be better to just play a cloud post out and start building my locust lands. Yeah, let's just play a cloud post here. And the next turn, probably forest to help me search with once upon a time. I guess it could be bad if I get him tier and if I lose. Especially I have Ugin, but also like Golos. Be pretty bad. This is good. Play that instead. And next turn I'll be able to play Golos. Probably just get Cloud Post off Golos. Ooh, nice. Guess I could get Caracas here, because why not? I mean, I already have my 7 mana to at least activate I. Maybe that's greedy, though. I could also get Cataracts and guarantee my colors for the rest of the game. I'll just get Cloud Post. No reason to not just go straight up with colorless mana.
And with this eye and the 12 mana I have, I could actually search up another Golos next turn. Another uncounterable one. Let's further build my mana. Just do it like that, too. Yeah, I set my 15 that way. Let's clear the way of this Baleful Strix first. And there, cast my Amberglow after that. Yep. Easy peasy. Shardless bug. Alright, 2-0. Definitely stick around, see how the rest of this league turns out.